Brought into service in the year 2380 and originally intended as a testbed for experimental technologies, the Vesta-class multi-mission explorer is one of the fastest and most technologically advanced starships ever to serve in the Federation Starfleet. Combining the functionality of many vessels that came before it, the Vesta is incredibly versatile and highly valuable in a wide variety of scenarios, ranging from heavy combat to humanitarian support and long-range exploration. 672 metres in length and a 195 metres across, the Vesta's sleek frame serves as a natural evolution upon the designs of the earlier Sovereign and Lunar-class starships, and helps to provide maximum efficiency for the vessel's state-of-the-art quantum slipstream drive. The Vesta is the first Federation starship designed to carry a slipstream drive since the technology was discovered by the USS Voyager in 2374, and the narrow frame of the class provides a sizeable increase in drive efficiency. This is because the slipstream corridor which the QSD projects ahead of its host vessel needs only be slightly wider than the vessel itself, and by extension a narrow frame results in substantially less power consumption. In addition to the Vesta's standard complement of phaser arrays and photon tubes, the vessel also carries a pair of prototype Mark 12 phaser cannons laid into the ventral saucer section, as well as a complement of quantum warheads, and in some rare instances, transphasic torpedoes. The ship's shields were also highly advanced, and the craft was equipped with 20 separate transporter sites, including four industrial cargo transporters. The Vesta's sensors and utility systems were equally advanced, including a quantum field focus controller, which allowed for 100% communication and sensor functionality during slipstream travel, as well as serving as a power relay for phaser energy, allowing a beam to be fired from the ship's deflector dish, consuming huge amounts of power, but inflicting substantial damage. Damage. In addition to their complements of conventional shuttles, ships of the Vesta class also carry Danube and Yellowstone class runabouts, ships that are most often stored only on space dock facilities or other fixed installations. These runabouts boast far greater range and utility than conventional shuttles, and provide the Vesta class with a serious advantage when surveying areas, performing reconnaissance, or transporting passengers. The first wave of Vesta class starships to be constructed after the original prototype were each named after one of the Seven Hills of Rome, and no doubt the most well-known among them was the USS Aventine, NCC 82602. The Aventine was originally commanded by Captain Dexar, but when he was killed in the Battle of Akamar, the ship's second officer, Commander Esri Dax, received a battlefield commission and a promotion to the rank of Captain, assuming command of the Aventine. During her long tenure as the Aventine's CO, Dax earned a place among Starfleet's most legendary captains, playing a crucial role in the Federation's survival during the Borg invasion of 2381, and surviving numerous encounters with the powerful Typhon Pact, easily one of the most advanced and versatile starships ever to serve in Starfleet, and having played a vital part in the Federation's very survival, the Vesta-class multi-mission explorer represents a groundbreaking accomplishment in Federation starship design, and would not only continue to serve well into the 25th century, but would also inspire several sub-variants and refits, continuing the vessel's legacy even farther. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.